What's going on everybody? It's your man Pac-Man coming at you guys with a new video regarding NBA 2K22. All the information is like been given out to us. Whatever we were going to get, we got it. I think now is just to wait until the tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific time until we actually get to lay our hands on the game and actually get to see if everything 2K is promising or is showing us is actually going to happen. With that being said, if you're new to my channel, as always, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like or dropped a sub. This year, I'm going crazy, nonstop streams, uploads. I'll be on Twitch. I'll be on YouTube. I'll be everywhere. With that being said, right here is the link to all of my social media platforms and everything. Uh, hopefully, you join the pack fam and, you know, get right with us this year. With that being said, I want to get into everything there is to talk about in a short period of time, starting from next gen, current gen information that we've got, um, what generation game console I'll be playing, what affiliation I'll be playing with on what builds I'll be picking and then a couple of things that 2K has talked about or shown us and my opinion on those things. Some of the biggest takeaways, some of the things that can make and break this game. So the biggest thing about the next gen, current gen conversation is what are people going to be playing? Obviously, everybody liked the gameplay and liked current gen because we got that first. They were already had their maxed out players. They already had their badges, all this stuff. And then next gen came out and nobody liked it. So everybody went back to current gen, even the people who had PlayStation 5. This year, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit different. Actually, I think it's going to be a lot different. We're getting the release the exact same day. And according to 2K, as you see here, the games are supposed to be game plot, gameplay wise. They're supposed to be identical. The two games are supposed to play exactly the same, which could be good and could be bad. A lot of people are gonna are upset about that because it's like I have a PlayStation 5. Why am I playing a game that I can play on PlayStation um current gen? And it, I understand that. But at the same time, if you don't like PlayStation 5, it won't be too hard transitioning into 4. And I also believe that the gameplay being the same will is is the main reason that you should play on PlayStation 5 if you have a PlayStation 5. It doesn't make sense to play on current gen because you're on a ship. The ship, in my opinion, it looks cool if you have a PlayStation 4, but there's no way I'm playing on that ship if I own a PlayStation 5. So that just doesn't make sense to me if the gameplay is going to be exactly the same because that's really the only benefit that I could see there being if, if it was different would be the gameplay is better. Because other than that, I don't see any benefits that the ship is really offering. Um, now, with that being said, I'm going to get into some of the changes that they made on next gen. One being that exact topic, the gameplay. They made the city smaller. Supposedly, they fixed the transportation subway um, stations to where we can get from park to park without having to run or bike or all that stuff. We don't have to do those things. And they also added different ways to get around such as you would now have a apartment or a penthouse or whatever you want to call it, which we didn't have last year in next gen. And you can zip line out of that into the park, which gives us another fast way to, tra to travel and so forth. So we have a penthouse, which is which is cool. So as I said before, the city did get smaller, as you can see in this picture here. They tightened it up a little bit. They moved some of the buildings out of the ways as being obstacles from getting around and so forth. So I guess in a way, if you really don't like the size of the city, the, the current gen is smaller. It's all compact. As you see here in these photos, you could, t you could tell everything's right there on one, one deck, kind of similar to how current gen 2K21 was. It's just on a ship. Everything's right there on flat ground and you can run from one thing to another pretty easily. Another upgrade that they gave with next gen that I feel is a big thing, as long as it works, is increasing the capacity and the amount of people that can be inside of the next gen city. Obviously, a lot of people are doing a lot of different things with going to the stores, being in different game modes, standing there doing nothing, doing their spins way over here and not being on the courts, and it makes it hard to get games. So that's good that they made it smaller, but that leads me to my next point, which is the matchmaking abilities. 
whether you want to play 1v1 and you don't have a squad, which I know for me, in my personal opinion, it has been an issue. I Maybe I'm starting streaming and none of my friends are on. So I'm, I could hop in the 1v1. I could hop in the 1v1 court and play 1v1 and still get rep and still get back-to-back -back games and so forth. They also have a game mode for ca more casual style players who can join a 3v3 rec with completely random people and play that way. So that's cool. And I think all these different game, these different things are going to make good for content. Like I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing how long I could streak with completely random people in a 3v3 matchmaking. Some of the other small things is they, they have brought back some of the brands that they had in the previous years, but we also did get some new brands. Mine, my most exciting part of that is the Crocs. I wear Crocs in real life. I'm a Croc lover kind of guy. I'm been a sneaker collector, but I would not mind throwing on some Crocs, hitting the park, and doing my thing in some Crocs. Give me some blue ones with some gibbets on it, and let's go crazy. So they do have, here's all the brands that they're bringing to us this year. Uh, a lot of them that we've seen before, and then some new ones. So if you couldn't tell, I'm obviously going to be playing on next gen, looking for all of you guys out there to run with. If you don't have me as a friend, you don't know me, and now we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Pac-Man. This year, I will be making probably somewhat near a two-way score, however that's going to work out. We have to see how the builds are going to be this year once we get in the builder and start messing around. But I'm going to have a point guard and a lockdown. So if that's something you need, hit me up. Don't be afraid. Let's get it in. Let's grind. We are going to hit legend this year, 1,000% guaranteed. I promise you guys this. And if you guys are wondering what affiliation I'll be joining, they brought back the Beast of the East the Vipers, the Northside Knights, and the Western Wildcats. I'm just going to go ahead and spill the beans on which affiliation I'll be joining, and that is the Northside Knights. I'll be joining the, North, the Northside Knights. Last year, I was with the Wildcats. They let me down, so I'm trying something new this year. I really like the layout and the color and the, the courts that they had in the previous um, 2K21. I'm thinking it's going to be similar to that. It looks good. Uh, I know it's one of the more popular ones, so I know I'll be able to get those consistent games and getting that extra 20% or whatever it is, uh, tw 20 XP, whatever it is, that's going to help me hit that legend quicker. And with the whole, X the whole not, not getting as much um, XP for playing in other parks, I hope that's something that they do fix with whatever patch because I don't think that you should be penalized for playing in the other parks within the city. I think you should, you know, if anything, get more if you're going to a rival park and win and, you know, catching dubs. So um that's one thing I hope that they do fix. But yes, I will be a north side night and I look forward to it. it. Looks good. Looks good. And I know a bunch of people that are gonna be joining me over there. So it's gonna be fun. And then they add a bunch of small features. You know, they have roller skates now. They have the bike races, which is crazy because if you get race of the week or something like that, they're going to give one person a race of the week. One million VC, as you see, says here, they're going to give one person one million VC for race of the week. However, that's going to work. There's more information. We're going to learn all of this as we go. Hopefully, everybody is going to enjoy this game, whether you're on current or next gen. If you have to be on current, Current looks perfectly fine. Current looks like a good game. It looks like current gen people are going to have a lot of fun on that. But if you're on next gen, I hope you at least try NBA 2K22 on your next gen console. It just makes sense. Again, the gameplay is the same. If you need to transition over to current gen, you can do that with no problem, according to NBA 2K. So with that being said, you guys, thank you all for watching. I super appreciate it. I'm glad you guys spent some time here. I hope you hit me up i hope we can run together if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below leave your psn's in the comments below i'll add you guys um and yeah let's let's produce great content man and um let's have some fun this year with that being said i'm pac-man hope you dropped a like hope you enjoyed this and i'm out yeah.